the search for the most powerful weapon should really be over. Everyone should now know that a war can actually exterminate the whole of humanity, including the very people who use the nuclear weapons. Using it would amount to mass suicide. Both the victors and the victims would perish. War would therefore be totally counterproductive. Imagine a nuclear war with bombs, nuclear bombs and nuclear warheads being hurled at each other. If there are survivors, radiation would kill them all. Truly, war should no longer be an option in the settlement of disputes between nations. But the fact is that the powerful nations of the world were not affected by the devastations in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Mostly, they see nuclear weapons as deterrents against attacks against themselves. Far from outlawing nuclear weapons as they did with poison gas, they began developing ever more powerful nuclear weapons and delivery systems. The real danger is still from the rich and powerful nuclear powers. It is they who must reduce and finally eliminate their nuclear weapons if they want to have the moral ground to enforce the Non-Proliferation Treaty. Unfortunately, these great nuclear powers are still developing, testing, and producing more nuclear weapons. They talk of safe nuclear bombs, of small nuclear bombs, and tactical nuclear bombs. Already they are using depleted uranium in their bombs and missiles, which are causing diseases like cancer to spread among hundreds and thousands who, have, who had survived their attacks. But they are not stopping them. They have developed bombs to penetrate deep into the ground so that bomb shelters buried deep in the ground would provide no protection. New weapons are being developed as the industrially see profits in the research and development of new weapons. In this, their military has cooperated and played a big role as, as they would be the only organization to need and use the new weapons. 